just two injury wise. Um, Chance Campbell had a left knee. He's in the MRI, so we'll see. We'll get some more information on that. Um, so all I can say about that is we'll see. I don't know the severity of it. Um, hopeful, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and then Elijah Molden was evaluated for a concussion. So those were the two injuries we had. We came out pretty clean, thankfully. Um, that was that was positive. Um, just unbelievable effort and work um, by our team this preseason. Uh, just I, I understand that that records preseason records have no bearing on regular season success. It's not predictive in any way, shape, or form. But uh, for the guys that suit up and play and, and give everything they have in the back of the roster, it means something. So uh, that was really cool. And just to see how hard. Our team has played in the preseason, gave us chances to win all these games. And that was what I think is the most um, important part of all of this is uh, the effort that they've shown has given us an opportunity at the end of games to win. And so that's been really cool. I uh, got to point out uh, Thomas Odekoye and both Nick Petit on that cover down field goal. I think we everyone got excited about last week's field goal. And this is the, the consequence of long field goal sometimes is uh, you put yourself in a little bit of harm's way. but. Then the, that effort, that relentless effort to go chase that play down, uh, really saved the touchdown and ultimately probably won us the game. So uh, really awesome by them. It's good to see our one start the drive, uh, opening drive. We went seven first downs, zero third downs. And again, I understand their starters weren't playing, but our operation was good. We executed the right way. Um, and then we scored on three possessions in the first half. Uh, put our defense in a tough spot to open the second half. They handled a sudden change well. Um, held them to a field goal in plus territory. Uh, and then you know, we didn't punt until the third quarter. So I apologize to Stonehouse. We attempted to get him some punts, um, but, but we didn't have too many of them early on, which is great. Uh, too many penalties in the second half. Um, and then we need to get touchdowns, not field goals, when we're close. So we had some possessions at the 21, the 8, and the 13 that, um, that we needed to get seven instead of three. So those are four-point losses to us, um, and that's what it is. But overall, um, pretty, pretty good day for us. I think offensively and defensively, it's good to finish out the preseason the way we did. Kind of going back to the operation. Uh, encouraged, you know. I, again, I, I I hesitate to make any sort of prediction on preseason operation, but for us, just to see guys go out and play well, um, execute well, and then go score points—that's that's the job. I mean, that's that's part of what playing offense in the NFL is. And so to see that um, is is a positive first step, and it's really encouraging to see those guys play well in those spots. So I'm um, happy with that. Yep. That was by design. That was by design. We um, we wanted to play our skill guys for two series for sure. We got two long drives and, and pulled most of them out. Um, the intent for the offensive line was to play um, a considerable amount more. Um, we wanted those guys to play. We have a young line. They need reps together. Um, we didn't get any reps against Seattle because we were trying to make sure we, you know, there's a lot of reps for those guys during the week. So um, it was good to see them play a good extended amount of time. It'll be good film to watch, and they just need to play together. So um, we wanted to make sure they could do that. Do you consider that competition on the right side over at this point? Uh, yeah, I think that's the, the guys that finished that first half uh, at this point are, are probably our starting five for week one. So, um, again, there's there's things to be talked about still, but at this point, yeah. What would you tell the guys either before or after about maybe the last time together? You know, you got a lot of decisions to make over that yeah. I said it last night in our team meeting, and I, and I said it to the guys here in the locker room today. Just, you know, you, you develop relationships with these guys, and, and they work really hard. And so, you see their development. A lot of guys have improved dramatically. They've, they've done really good things. Um, and so you just you thank them for their effort. You know, you thank them for uh, what they put into it. Uh, I'm appreciative of, of them. They've done everything we've asked uh, from top to bottom, every guy in this roster. And so uh, really, really pleased with that. I think that's the makings of a good team. And I told them in the locker room afterwards here that, um, you know, part of the reason that we've been able to, to win the preseason games is the performance of the guys um, that have had to, to play at the end of games. And, and to see those guys, there's a pride factor in that um, for them to be able to go out and, and close out some preseason games this year, which was um, was really good to see. So I thank them for their effort, appreciated everything they've given us. And, and again, worst part of the job probably comes, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday, and we've got to cut the roster down. But that's life in the NFL. And so we got to get to 53, um, and that's just how it goes. I know you really wanted to get Parley out there. Yes, I did. No, he did a nice job. It was good to, uh, just for all the things that he's been through, uh, the ups and downs of his career, his personal life. Um, just really cool to see him have a chance to, to go play. You know, he hasn't been able to play much. Uh, and so that was cool to see him play. I think that, um, you know, there's a little bit of a little bit of joy in that too for him just to be able to go not think about anything and just go play football. And, and I thought he played pretty well from just what I saw uh, with my eyes on the sidelines. So uh, it was good for him. I was happy for him. Have you seen that year from Malik before kind of was able to lead the team on those couple of drives? 
um, it was good to see. Certainly, um, hadn't had he hadn't had an opportunity at that at that point. Um, obviously, through that that pick against Seattle, we were, needed that drive. Um, but to see him bounce back and, and play, he threw an unbelievable throw on that third down to Bryce. The slant route was to Bryce for the second touchdown was fantastic, um, and he made some plays with his feet. So. Malik showed really well for himself tonight. He made some really big time throws. And again, the job of the quarterback is to score touchdowns, lead the offense to touchdowns and points. And, and he did that tonight. So that was really good to see. When you kind of look ahead to that decision through quarterbacks, three quarterbacks, how much does seeing what you saw from all the guys today factor in? Yeah, that factors in. You know, it certainly factors in. And those are those are conversations we're going to have to have over the next couple of days. But, um, you know, to Malik's credit and to Mason's credit, they've, they've made a very challenging decision because they both played really well. Um, and I think that that's a good problem to have. Um, but it's going to be it, uh, that decision again isn't necessarily related to their play, though. I think is the point that I need to make is that whatever we decide to do there, um, it's probably based on whatever else we need to do on the roster and not necessarily just their play. So, um, however that shakes out, um, you know, I think those guys have both shown that they're very capable NFL quarterbacks. To see uh, Levis connect with Boyd on that deep out break there and then Ridley on the crosser, like how much confidence seeing that timing right? Like how much confidence can those two have? Yeah, it gives me it gives me quite a bit of confidence. I know I. I I want to make sure TB got a good a good target or two early. I want to make sure Calvin got his, and then Tony and Tajay got their touches. And so um, that part was really good to see, and and it gives me a lot of confidence in, in what we're capable of. And again, um, potential doesn't really mean much, right? We got to go do it. We got to prove it. We got to prove it every week. But um, I, I think we leave training camp in a good spot, and and we got a lot lot to work on still. We still got to improve um, in a lot of areas, but I think to to cap up, cap training camp in the preseason the way we did, I think shows us that we, that we got a chance to be competitive. Tavondre gave you three really disruptive snaps in those first couple of drives. I, mean, I know the fans were waiting. For yeah, I was too. It was good to see. You know, it was. Um, that's what he does, and that's that's why we drafted him where we did because he's got the ability to really uh, be a, a tremendously disruptive player in the interior, both in the run game and pushing the pocket. I mean, he had a hell of a rush um, in there too. So. That's what that's what he does, and you put him and Jeff next to each other. It makes you feel pretty good about what they'll be able to accomplish and how hard they'll make life on offenses. So, um, really positive to see that show up in a game. And he's starting to get it. He's he's, you see him getting his feet underneath him. You see him starting to slow down for him. Everything's starting to make a little more sense. Um, he's come a long way, and I think that that's going to be really good for our football team.